What have you learned from how other countries have handled their response to coronavirus that impacts your view on how you think the U.S. should be handling it? Well, I think other countries, uh, you know, they have their own uh, circumstances and uh, their own uh, demographics that um, you know, may be different uh, than the United States. Um, you know, no one was prepared for this. So it's, it's hard to look back and say, well, they should have done this or should have done that. Well, no one really thought that this was going to be as, as bad as it was. Um, we might have been aware that it was going to happen, but, you know, it's just um, it's very difficult. And right now, it's not the time to kind of look back and say, well, you know, what could have been done, what should have been done. It's, okay, we're in it. Let's get through it. And then once we do get through it, we can review it after and figure out how to prevent it from happening in the future, for sure. If somebody's watching this who's understandably down on their luck for one reason or another, what would you say to that person to encourage positivity and hope? in this trying time? I would say that, you know, uh, this country um, has some outstanding people that are selfless, uh, that are working tirelessly, uh, so that your fears, uh, that your um, concerns, your worries can be assuaged um, based on the work that they're doing, the work that they're continuously trying to do. These people who are risking their health, their safety, maybe even their life at some points, uh, to come in and, and treat COVID-19 and, and find cures and find ways to get over this. They're still going to battle. We don't um, acclaim them or recognize them as much as we do maybe our movie stars, celebrities, and sports figures. Um, but right now is a time to, to realize that we have some outstanding intellectual folks uh, who are um, really putting forth amazing efforts day in, day out, um, working long hours, not getting any sleep, trying to make this this country and this world, uh, you know, resume back to its normal state. And uh, you should be rest assured that that's, that's what's happening. You need to do your part. Obviously, you need to be an active member to adhere to a lifestyle, behavior modifications and the social distancing, staying at home. Uh, but know that on the other end of that, you have people who are, are really doing some wonderful things and they should be commended. Really a pleasure, Myron. Uh, hope you stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for making the time to do this. And we all uh, appreciate uh, all the effort you're putting in to keep people safe and healthy. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me, man. Thanks.